what's up guys welcome back to my channel la, la, la. but anyway today is a natural hair video so yes my hair is out it is you know doing its thing it's healthy it's black yeah I want to color it so bad but that's neither here nor there but yeah so anyway just keep watching I'm about to do a video on this hairstyle So I think I just counted 10 twists, but anyway, let's get into this. Okay, so if y'all notice, it's just a twist. So what I'm doing is I just kind of un unravel it, just turn it the opposite direction of the twist and just let it go ahead and separate itself. So here you can kind of already see the flat twist pattern. So I just pull it, pull the hair, I guess, to the max stretch and it'll just kind of unravel itself because sometimes flat twists can be hard to unravel and then they just become super frizzy. If you're careful when you unravel them, they'll just already unravel in sections. And I think I got that tip from Natural 85. I think I got all my hair tips from her because she's the OG. But yeah. So this one, I'll do the same thing. Just turn it in the opposite direction that I twisted the hair. Separate and then hopefully y'all can see that. And so if you just pull it, it'll automatically just unwind and it'll already be in sections without you having to create any more frizz which frizz is okay This is my hair untwisted. I got some nice definition. Um, I have to show you all the products that I use, but I use the curling, I think, curling moisturizer from African Pride that you can get at Dollar General. Um, and then also I use, it's by Olive Oil. I think it's Palmer's the Olive Oil line and it's flaxseed jelly. But anyway, so this is how my hair looks at first. And you can use a pick or not, um, but, I'm not using a pick. What I usually use is just my red tail comb. So I use the end of it to fluff out the roots. So I just take the end of it and I just pick, pick out the hair everywhere. Whoa, look at the difference. This is the part that I had from yesterday. You don't have to make the part straight. It's not that deep. Except when you're braiding hair. 
But I just part two squares in the front. I'm just gonna take two black rubber bands, take a rubber band, and just lightly twist it so I'm not even pulling it down to the root. So if you can see, I got a little slack. And I'm just wrapping it about three or four times. That one has some slack as well. Put it just a little bit. Then I'm just gonna twist these lightly. So basically, this is the hairstyle. You see how it's kind of shaped like that? It's kind of like an angle. So fluff where you want. And this part can be fluffed up a little bit. Or you can stand it up. It really doesn't matter. Do what you want to do. Um, but yeah, that's it. It's so cute. So simple. And... The sides, you don't have to put anything on your edges. You can put them behind your ear if you want. So that's how that looks behind the ear. And this is how this looks without being behind the ear. But anyway guys, so this is how the hairstyle looks. Um, I really like it, it's really cute. It's giving me completely different vibes than what I'm used to. I'm pretty simple, I'm pretty basic. I wear my hair like the same way all the time. Um, and then you all, y'all also know that natural hair can just be a hassle. So, for the most part, I just go for what's most simple, and that's a high puff or a side puff. But anyway, I'm actually feeling this hairstyle. Um, I've always been hesitant to wear it because I thought the little two knots at the top was childish. Is that crazy? I thought the little two knots at the top was childish. But anyway, I mean, hey, you know, you win some, you lose some, you try something, you know, you like it. So basically, don't knock it till you try it. So. I did try it and I liked it so yeah if y'all have any questions if you like the hairdo if you don't make sure you like comment and subscribe to this video and I'll see y'all next time bye guys